You ever feel like it's super hard to get a girlfriend or even just get dates with girls you actually like? Well, today, we gonna fix that. What up, homie? My name's Dave, and if you're watching this video right now, that means today is my birthday, October 15th. So, bro, I really appreciate it. If you could drop a comment below, let me know one thing you really like about the channel. It's gonna make my birthday awesome, and it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm. It's gonna help us all take over the world. Anyway, today you're gonna learn why most guys can't get a girlfriend. And I ain't talking about just getting any run-of-the-mill girl to agree to go out with you. I'm talking about getting a girl that you actually like who wants to stick around with you. I'm gonna show you why most guys struggle with this and how you can start getting the girls you really want. Let's get into it. Morning comes at night messed up again Cause we're doing everything wrong I don't know yeah, so I hear a lot of guys complain like, yo Dave, whenever I go out, I can't seem to meet hot girls or if I do, they don't respond well. And the problem is they keep going to those same venues where they get rejected by girls, whether it be during the day or during the night. And here's the thing, man, if you're not getting the response you want from women, a big piece of it could be that you're going to the wrong venues with the wrong types of girls. Think about it, if you're trying to meet like a sophisticated, sexy, like 30 something girl, she's probably not gonna be at that college club, right? And if you're trying to meet that younger, like 20 to 25 year old, like college young professional, she's probably not gonna be at that super chill jazz lounge. So the thing you gotta do is stop picking the wrong venues and really kind of think critically about it. Like, okay, this is the type of girl I wanna meet now, where is she hanging out? Is she gonna be at the park? Is she gonna be at the chill lounge? Is she gonna be at the crazy club? Where is she gonna be? And how can I start going to that place and meet her? It sounds simple, bro, but it can actually make a huge difference. And this is how you put yourself in position to start meeting the girls you actually wanna hang out with. And hey, even meet a potential girlfriend. And by the way, a nice little park like this right here, it's a great place to meet girls. There's a lot of girls just chilling, just relaxing chill vibes and they're open to talk all you gotta do is say what's up now man i gotta tell you something that used to happen to me all the time and it used to really piss me off so i'd walk into a club or i'd be in a cafe or something and i'd see a hot girl sitting down or having a drink at the bar and i would think about approaching her but just not do anything for a couple minutes Next thing I know, some Jamoke looking guy walks on over and starts talking to her. And I'm like, this Jamoke dude, he ain't got no chance. Before I know it, he's either like getting her number, they're going to grab a drink at the bar, or hell, he's going home with her. And I'm sitting there like, what the hell happened? See, there was nothing special about that Jamoke looking guy who went up and talked to that girl instead of me. But there was one thing he had that I did not. A set of balls. See, this motherfucker had some courage while I was sitting there looking like the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz. I haven't any courage at all. And that's the thing, man. See, if you've ever been in a similar situation, then it happened because you let your fear win. And that other guy had the balls, talked to that girl, and he made it happen. It sucks, right? Well, the thing you got to remember is that you cannot let your fear win. You know, you feel a little bit of that fear. You know, you're going to stretch your comfort zone a little bit. Then you got to take a step into that discomfort and decide you're gonna make it happen. Otherwise, let's face it, you ain't gonna get the hot girl. Now bro, if you wanna be able to overcome your anxiety and approach and attract any girl, then I got something awesome for you. I'm offering a free one-on-one -on -one call with me for a limited number of guys who wanna beat their approach anxiety and have awesome conversations with girls. On the call, we're gonna go over your biggest pain points with dating and give you a strategy to start getting the results you really want. Now, if all that sounds good to you, all you're gonna do is hit the first link in the description, schedule your call, and then fill out the quick application. But do it right now because there's only a limited number of spots available and I don't want you to miss your chance. So go ahead and make it happen and I'll see you there. So entitlement is the feeling that you deserve certain things out of life. You know, the nice car, the beautiful girl, hell, even 100 million subscribers on YouTube. Is that so much to ask for? Now I'm sure you've met some annoyingly entitled people. I know I have, but 
Entitlement actually isn't a bad thing. See, if you're actually willing to put in the work to earn those things that you feel entitled for, it can actually help you get them. But here's where it becomes a problem. Let's say you have a sense of entitlement around women. You believe you deserve the time and attention of beautiful women, but you don't do anything to earn that time and attention. You haven't worked in your communication skills. You haven't tried to improve your looks. You just stroll into a club, look at a girl and say, I'm here, what's up? bow down and you feel like she owes you something that's when you have another run-of-the-mill jamoke talking to a beautiful girl expecting she's gonna be into him and when she's not things can get sour real fast the guy gets angry because his expectations don't match his reality and it starts to breed a hatred for women within him and it can lead him down a pretty dark path i quit there's enough bullshit in the world without my help I'm sure that's the path a lot of these hater ass YouTube commenters have been on. This is the entitlement paradox, right? Some entitlement is good, but only when you're willing to put the work in. Like you're working on your communication skills, you're improving your style, you're improving your fundamentals and doing the things it takes to land a beautiful girl. At that point, it's like, okay, it's okay to feel in your mind that you deserve that girl. It's kind of like assuming a girl is gonna be attracted to you, right? It's a good thing. But you gotta remind yourself that nobody owes you anything. So you gotta check yourself and realize ain't nothing given to you in this life. If you want something, you gotta take it. So yeah, work towards that feeling of entitlement, but don't allow it to make you a sour, dickhead, future, hater YouTube commenter. Cause ain't nobody like that. I'm back over here in Mexico City with Yuki. She, she missed me so after those long Austin trips. But uh, I talk to a lot of guys who have very little experience with girls. And they'll say, Dave, my biggest goal right now is to find a girlfriend. And I always question them on that. See, if you don't have much experience with girls, you probably don't know what you want. And that's the thing, man. Like What you want is going to change over time as you get that experience. So there's really no need to rush into getting a girlfriend. Like for me, you know, I had to date a lot of girls and have a lot of experiences before I knew that all I really wanted was like a little Mexicana to cook me tacos and, and you know, just take me to Mexican restaurants all day. And now I'm happy as a clam. So yeah, before trying to just jump into the relationship with the first girl you meet up with, you know, allow yourself time to have some of those experiences and figure out what you want and then go for it. Cause right now you probably ain't ready. By the way guys, I haven't told you this yet, but Ayuki started a new business called uh, just Ayuki Chips. <laughs> so, so Ayuki, good luck on the new venture. Very proud, very proud. And as another example of not knowing what you want to experience it, I've realized over the past little while that pasta is one of my guilty pleasures. Specifically though, that tuna pasta. Let's get an um, olive, olive oil one. We got our tuna pasta ready to go, it's gonna be epic. But there's actually one more way a lot of guys aren't ready to have a girlfriend and that is, they don't have their shit together. Ayuki, do you like broke ass dudes? No. <laughs> exactly, so if you're over here broke as hell, living with your mom and you get a shitty job, you're not making any money, you're probably not ready to have a girlfriend. And I'll be honest with you, bro, like having a girlfriend isn't cheap. And when you are broke as hell, it's gonna be really hard to maintain that relationship and to give it, you know, to, to, to allow it to thrive. What you should be doing instead is getting on your grind, you know, learning some online business skills, learning some skills that are gonna allow you to increase your income so you ain't broke anymore and so you can actually enjoy life. Because that can be hard to do when you have a girlfriend. You, not only just is it money, but it's time that you have to dedicate to it. And when you're broke, you don't get a lot of time. So yeah, man, get on your grind, get those finances handled, and then you're gonna have the bandwidth to have an awesome relationship with a great girl. So I'll be honest, man. 
a lot of guys just straight up lack charisma like they don't know how to be smooth and when it comes to talking to girls a lot of times they're super awkward and uncalibrated now why is that well a lot of it comes down to social conditioning from the time you're a little kid you're fed really shitty advice about how to talk to girls and how to act around women and a lot of times it's by well-meaning people like your parents like your teachers like your friends but in reality they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So if you're one of these guys, you feel like maybe you don't have as much charisma as you want, or your social interactions don't go as well as you like them to, what I recommend is to take in information and watch videos like mine, watch videos like from How to Beast. And don't just watch them though, you know, learn from them and go take consistent action with what you learn. That way you can see what works for you and steadily improve and over time you will become more charismatic and more confident with women because hey the beauty of it is we've had a lot of those screw-ups we've had a lot of embarrassing mistakes with women we've learned from them and now we're kind of like condensing that information down for you to take and improve on it so take advantage boom I got my tuna pasta, I got my chillin' dinner shirt on, I'm ready for a night. But before I eat, it's time for number seven, and that is that most guys don't follow up. See, if you wanna get a girlfriend, or at the very least, go on dates with high quality girls, you gotta get good at following up. And by the follow up, I mean the text that you send her, the night that you meet her, and the day after to set up the date or the next meetup. And if you're thinking, yo Dave, how do I follow up, what do I do? As always, I got you covered. Check out this playlist right here. It's gonna show you everything you need to know about how to text a girl and how to follow up so that you can turn those interactions into dates and into a potential girlfriend. Let's keep it going. I'll see you right here, homie.